Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick how-to and for today's video, I'll show you how to use Ample Note with this step-by-step -step guide. Well, you might heard about Ample Note. This is a powerful note-taking application which is going to help you to stay organized and boost your productivity. So if you are someone who loves to take notes, I definitely recommend you to use this application. And you can also access this Ample Note on your computer smartphone or tablet which allows you to sync your notes across multiple devices. And Ample Note is designed for collaboration, making it easy for teams or groups to work together on shared projects. So let's get started here. Just open your Google Chrome and go here on amplenote.com. Then if we scroll down, you'll find some details about this application. So as you can see, shape thoughts into actions. So here on Jots, if you read this one, log daily activity and quickly capture inspiration wherever it strikes. So you can compare it to other app like uh, OneNote Clipper or Google Keep or Apple Notes and Evernote Clipper. So here on Notes, if we click on this, connect and refine ideas to discover their best version. We can compare this to other uh, note-taking applications like Notions or other apps and here on task, pick out the juiciest to-do items lurking deep with your notes. And we can compare it to other apps like Todoist and uh, Things or Google Tasks. Then here on calendar, drag and drop tasks into a schedule that makes the most of every precious minute. So you can compare it with your Google Calendar, Outlook, or Apple Calendar. So Ample Note offers four modes, so it is a highly flexible app that allows users to stay organized in a variety of ways so as we scroll down as you can see some other information you can embed pictures videos and notes within your words then you can repeal the task decision tax and if we gonna scroll it down you can publish and collaborate with ease so you can use apple note as an individual or to collaborate with members of your team. So this is great for teams who have tasks they need to complete and stay on top of. And to use this app, let's go and click on the login button at the top right. And then from here, you will directly go to the next page where you can sign in using your email and password or you can sign in with your Google account. Now, once you've done, you'll now be able to see all the different things which has all these features that you can do. You have all the features here on the left side and you can have the features at the top right of your screen as you can see here on your profile name tap on drop down menu you can go account settings install plugins help center you can share apple note you can go to dark mode so for example so first here on these juts as you can see if we scroll down you'll find the daily juts so this is just an example of what you can put on this uh, daily jot. So for example, jots, capture and write, notes, organize and revise, task, plan and prioritize, calendar schedule and complete. So this is the jots, the view mode you're probably in now is how Ample Note captures your ideas fast. So you can write here the daily jots or some task. So here it makes it easy to quickly find the information you're looking for. So you just have to find. So if you click on these three dots here, there are some suggestions. You can move previous day's task, link to updated shared notes, link to tasks scheduled for today, link to recent notes with open tasks. So yeah, you can use that suggestions here on this uh, daily jots. Now let's go to notes. So here you can easily organize your notes or tasks or other informations. So you can actually go here on last change. You can sort by change by me, opened or created. Or you can go right here, scroll down on the left side. You'll find all the recorded notes here. And if you open this one, you'll find you can actually create a title right here at the top. And you can put also a reference or hashtags and add a tag. And as you can see, you can change the font, font style or font size, the headings. You can put some highlights on your notes, uh, task list or bulleted list or numbered list. Or you can actually insert table, link, 
or you can attach PDF or other documents. You can attach some images or any videos that you want to put on these notes. So it's very simple and has a minimalist design and emphasis on simplicity. Make it good choice for users who prefer a streamlined note-taking experience. Now let's click on these three dots here. You have published notes or you can actually add collaborators so you can actually invite apple note users to collaborate so you just enter the username or the email address now if we click again that one you can apply vault encryption you can delete note plugins here and you can click on more options manage task course download note or you want to duplicate the notes or you can uh, lock the note here archive note and prevent auto archiving or copy mail to note addresses so that's are the options here that you can use in these notes so let's go to the third one which is a uh, task one of the best feature here is the task management tool as you can see you can create a title here and then you can filter task by note reference then you can also use the feature to change fonts change the color the size and insert some links or documents and if we click these three dots here group task by you can select nothing notes or note creator and once you complete a task you just simply click on the box and check that one and it will remove here on the section so it provides you a simple way on how you can just uh, simply uh, complete all the tasks right here and then you can also change the position if you want and same as some task management up here we have some options like priority you can uh, put this as urgent and important so you just choose right here if we click on urgent it will automatically go at the top and as you can see these are the most interesting features tasks are assigned as a score when they are created so the score is based on a combination of factors including the complexity importance and estimated time of the task so as the task progresses and is completed, the score is adjusted accordingly. Now let's go to the last and fourth mode, which is the calendar. So Ample Notes Calendar provides a drag and drop way to schedule your most important task to your calendar. Then you can change the view here if you want daily view or if you want four day view, if you want week view or monthly view or month view as you can see here. So if you want to create a task on this day, for example, just need to click on this one, add a task. You can create a task here within this week or with this time. And then you can add some uh, quick to do task there. And if you complete it, so just check that on that box. As you can see, we have three or four completed tasks here. Then if you click on the three dots here, you'll find open schedule task zero and completed task is six. So it will record it here all the completed tasks on this calendar. And you can actually import events and sync tasks in this domain by connecting a Google or Outlook calendar. So that is the four modes here or features in Ample Note. So you can actually try and use this uh, powerful note taking app. And it helps you actually organize your thoughts, activities, and ideas more efficiently. And it offers a range of features including tagging, searching, and filtering capabilities as well as project and task management tools. So, so with its intuitive interface, Ample Note makes staying organized easier than ever. And finally, you can choose a plan or subscription with this Ample Note. You can choose personal, free forever. And you can choose this Pro, $5 a month. And you can choose Unlimited, $10 a month. And here on Founder, which has $20 a month, build annually. So you can have all the benefits here. So you can just download this Ample Note app or just use this on your web browser. That's all. That's how you basically use this Ample Note. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to ring the bell icon to notify you on the next video.